Whole Foods Market is the quintessential organic grocery store chain, a place where you expect everything to be healthy and fresh, clean and open, and don't forget expensive. But this organic behemoth had much humbler beginnings. Whole Foods started out with just 19 employees as a 1980s hippy-dippy health food store in Austin, Texas. Now it's the biggest natural food market chain in the U.S., with over 460 stores in North America and the United Kingdom. So hold on to your pressed juice, here's the whole story. Organic chicken kale salad and a lemon twist. Some girl in yoga pants is looking at me funny. Not so sustainable. In February 2016, the chain reported their worst sales in a decade. They announced that they were closing nine stores and lowered their sales outlook for the rest of the year. While they still generated $4.92 billion in revenue in the last quarter, they were originally projected to make more. But Whole Foods might be a victim of its own success. Organic food is rapidly rising in popularity, increasing over 200% in sales over the past decade. Even Walmart is in the organics game. So the thing that used to make Whole Foods special is no longer unique. From now on, our family is eating healthy food that looks bad on the shelf, but good in our colon. CEO No. The cliché about internet trolls is that they're losers living in their mother's basements, not that they run billion-dollar corporations. But from 1999 to 2006, John Mackey, Whole Foods co-founder and CEO, trolled Yahoo Finance message boards about a rival natural food store chain called Wild Oats. Using a pseudonym that was an anagram of his wife Deborah's name, he made over 1,100 of the comments. News of the internet trollery broke in 2007, when the Federal Trade Commission tried to stop Whole Foods from buying Wild Oats. Whole Foods won, but Mackey's reputation took a hit. And it wouldn't be the last time he would show his true colors. Contrary to the Whole Foods brand, in 2013, Mackey told Mother Jones that climate change was perfectly natural and not necessarily bad. And in a 2009 Wall Street Journal op-ed piece, he quoted Margaret Thatcher, saying, The problem with socialism is that eventually you run out of other people's money. He's also anti-union, once complaining, The union is like having herpes. It doesn't kill you, but it stops a lot of people from becoming your lover. When I get an outbreak, this is the only product I trust to make this our little secret. The Upsell Government agencies in both California and New York cited the chain starting in 2014 for doing things such as adding the weight of containers when charging for food at the salad bar and hot bar, or including less than the weight advertised for items sold by the pound. New York City's Department of Consumer Affairs head Julie Menon claimed that her inspectors said this is the worst case of mislabeling they have seen in their careers. Consumer Affairs also found that 89% of the packages did not meet the federal standard that an individual package can deviate from the actual weight. And in multiple cases, the stores also charge for the weight of the box or packing materials. So reasonably priced! Buy me that, Abby! Oh, great! Mm, this is some high-class Organic Chain Gang? Whole Foods contracted with Colorado Correctional Industries for prisoners to farm tilapia and make high-end cheeses. The prisoners got paid between 74 cents and $4 per day for the work, while the stores sold the items for much more. Whole Foods stopped the practice in 2015 after word got out about the prison labor. I have to hand it to Whole Foods. They did the responsible thing, and they stopped doing it just as soon as they were caught. <laughs> just like the prisoners who make their food. You're not fooling anyone. From the dude who thinks he's the first to say whole paycheck, to the uber vegans, to the guy who's just there to pick up hot yoga chicks, Whole Foods attracts a particular crowd. Obviously, I don't do yoga for recognition. Right, of course you wouldn't. No. <laughs> and stop being so good at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's very flexible. Thrillist spoke to former store employees who mocked people like the supplement trend zealot who buys whatever Dr. Oz recommends, the bulk bin number ignorer who thinks that cashiers can't tell the difference between peanuts and cashews, and the armchair environmentalist with inconsistent standards about local versus organic. And anybody who's ever been in line behind the cell phone diva knows how irritating that can be. One strike and you're out. Thinking of shoplifting? Whole Foods has a one-strike policy against it, allegedly banning people for life after one accusation. One Chicago woman, struggling to deal with her kids while shopping, told Chicago Magazine that she accidentally forgot to pay for a bottle of vitamins. When she was caught, she says security took a photo of her, made her sign a document about the incident, and banned her forever. That is, until she protested up the chain of command. Fat and unhappy. The standard Whole Foods employee discount is 20%, but it gets bumped up to 30% if you meet certain health standards, including blood pressure, cholesterol level, and BMI in a yearly physical. 
Jezebel criticized the plan for measuring BMI, saying, "...because if public health research has taught us anything, it's that reducing people's buying power totally makes them healthier. Stay classy, Whole Foods." Pretty much. Dirty Digs You would think Whole Foods stores would be squeaky clean, but that isn't always the case. In 2016, the FDA warned Whole Foods about, quote, "...serious violations at a food preparation facility in Everett, Washington." The FDA said that the company failed to manufacture, package, and store foods under conditions and controls necessary to minimize the potential for growth of microorganisms and contamination. In other words, yuck. Meanwhile, one of their Washington, D.C. stores was closed twice by the Board of Health, once in 2016 for failing to minimize the presence of insects, rodents, and other pests, and another time in 2013, also due to health-related violations. Once more with feeling, yuck. Whole Foods for Life As we've figured out by now, Whole Foods' market certainly isn't perfect. Neither is John Mackey, their CEO. And only time will tell if the chain's plans for reinventing themselves, including opening the more affordable 365 stores, will be a success. But even so, Whole Foods has many loyal customers. Because if you're looking for high-quality meats and organic produce, tasty prepared foods, and at least one hot chick decked out in Lululemon, Whole Foods definitely serves it up. Thanks for watching! Click the list icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out this other cool stuff we know you'll love too!